I don't know how the hell you know how to make this Star Trek movie. The effects and the things. I mean, you got to be a genius well, the, to make this. I think yeah. you're a genius. I'm not bullshitting no, 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 you. Yeah. I can't even imagine <laughs> explaining what you want. Yeah, when right. I see yeah. it. I can't even. And then I want it to look like space, and then the world. And yeah, then yeah. We'll teach see. us how yeah, to do, do that. Yeah. Do you draw or do you? Yeah. How do, do you? Any of that stuff? Like, let's say you have a scene where some guy, like, some crazy fucking shootout, and there's a. How do you explain to these dudes how to get this on the screen? A lot of it is uh, sitting down with uh, either storyboard artists or previs people that make little sort of. It looks almost like a cartoon yeah. that you make before. And we have an amazing visual effects supervisor named Roger Guyette, who is brilliant from ILM. Uh, we just we, we work with amazing people. So if there's a big chase, there was a, there was a fight in the movie that was going to be just on the street. Right. And then we then the the first AD, uh, Tommy Gormley said, assistant you know, director. Yeah, assistant yeah. director said, you know, it would be great if they were like on a vehicle moving. And all of a sudden, it became the biggest, craziest fucking thing ever, where there's this fight on this like garbage barge barreling through a futuristic San Francisco. Wow! And I can't it became wait to this, see this huge, ridiculous sequence, and. One of the fun things is you figure out well, what do you want the shot to be? How do you want it to look? Yeah. Because a lot of times you can get into crazy CG stuff, but then it like looks fake. Right. So if right. you think, well, how does how do I make it look real? So first of all, like it does look real. Well, we that because we shot outside. Yeah. So how do you figure how to make it look real? Well, there are a lot of. <clears throat> uh, I know this sounds obvious, but a lot of times scenes that take place, exterior scenes, for some reason are shot on a stage. Right. And your eye goes, that's not sunlight. So we shot outdoors. We built a big piece of this thing. We actually were able to do big wire cams and some helicopter shots. We had real smoke. The thing was actually moving. So even before we put in anything to replace, you know, the green screen, it already looks and feels like you're legitimately in a real place. Uh, it's, it's a, yeah, but it's, wait a second. What you just described, how long is that on scene, that, uh, on screen, that whole scene? It's about, a, you know, 90 seconds. All right, 90 seconds. Yeah. That sounds tremendously expensive and cost to pull off, amazing right? Amazing amounts, yeah. It, it's got to be a tremendous fortune well, it, just to but, shoot that it, ninety seconds. Even though you know the, the movie had a healthy budget, it was like one hundred and eighty million dollars. It's, it's insane. The movie is so huge, right? That figuring out how to get everything, you, you think. $180 million, we can afford anything we want. Right. All of a sudden, you're like, it's like buying an apartment, buying a house. You, you have know, to make choices. Yeah, you think, you think oh, I'm rich. I, I, I got everything I, I got everything I need, right? Like, the, the richest guy in the world is like, and I swear to God, that guy's like, wait, the house costs how much? So, like, in other words, when somebody says, hey, now want. let's take it outside, <clears throat> let's make it on a helicopter, let's do this, that, all of a sudden, you go, well, wait a second, that's going to cost me yes, $20 so, million. So, dollars. so, what we did is, we, yeah. we, we filmed everything <laughs> with almost... Uh, like 10% exception in this one place in LA. So we, we shot all this stuff. We had all these sets right next to each other, some outdoors, some indoors, uh, on this in this place in, in Playa del Rey in LA. So we had like a volcano set right next to this garbage barge set, right next to this jungle set, right next to this you know big hangar. It just, it saved a ton of money because we weren't moving. 